Davy, a well-deserved three points for us this afternoon, a, a clean sheet in there as well. How do you reflect on the match? Um, a wee bit nervy at times, but again, that's the problem my point of view. I don't think they really troubled us a lot. I was conscious that we were going to lose a goal for a set play late on. Um, we were trying to change the game. Obviously, Big Curtis had to come off through injury, so you lose a wee bit of height there. You lose a wee bit of height when Christian comes off the park. The biggest threat that command posed and we knew this before the game was set set plays and balls in your box for open play. Um, I think the first half we've done well but we should do better in a couple of offensive situations. I thought we gave away too many needless fouls in the final third, our final uh, defensive third and then it allowed them to put balls in my box because that, that's kind of the biggest threat, well it was the biggest threat. So I spoke to the boys about a wee bit like that, about half time, trying to get more pressure on the ball, higher up the park, which really, really helped us in the second half, I think. Um, we never really caused Hamans too many problems, but again, I thought we had the more controlled entries into the opponent's box and we should do better from them. We should at least get another goal from one of these entries. Um, and they, Shamal comes, takes three or four crosses in the game, kind of helps his back four out, helps the whole team out. I don't think there's a lot more in the game, really. I think it was a deserved three points. I never like winning 1-0 when it's 85, 86, 87, 90, 94 minutes. I hate it. But do you know what? There's something really, really positive. After the whistle's gone and you've managed to win 1-0, you've got the goal that wins the game, you've got the three points and you've got the clean sheet or something. I don't know, it's a wee bit extra pleasing with a 1-0 victory. It feels a wee bit sweeter when the whistle goes, but it's not something I want to keep practising as the games go on. I think we had enough opportunities within the game to kill the game. We never took the opportunities, but in saying that, I don't think Jamal had a lot to do. So, I think the players are going to take huge credit. I think that's something the media said, that's what's up to third. Yeah. And then Dave came out with a start, he said if we'd managed to get a point against Rangers, we would be sitting second because Rangers would have dropped two points. It's all what ifs, right? It's all what ifs, but it just shows you the potential in the change room. Then you maybe had that point at Motherwell that got stole from us, really. It got stole from us. It just shows you the belief that the boys have got in the squad that we've got and the coaching staff. All the coaching staff behind the scenes are a huge credit to the football club. And we'll just try and not get too carried away. The boys are out tonight. I told them to go and enjoy themselves. Um, it's another weekend where I'll probably not wake up, wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning and drag the dog out the park to walk. Then we've got next weekend, we've got a free week, so there's another weekend where I can enjoy my sleep a wee bit better. Um, so, nah. And it's, do you know what, Callum? It's a nice way to end your tenure at Livingston. No, you've been brilliant for us, and do you know what? I'm delighted, honestly, I really am. I'm delighted I can send you away with three points and a big smile. Thanks very much. Appreciate that. Just on, on Christian Montano, obviously the, the goal scorer. That's, that's two and two for him now. Just been a, a breath of fresh air this season. You know, you, you've spoken about him a wee bit, but he's been in sensational form of late, hasn't he? Yeah, I was very honest with Chris last year. I think when you're bringing boys, how do I put this without being disrespectful to League Two in England? When you're bringing boys for League Two in England, they've maybe been at that level for, let's say, eight, nine years of their career. It's really, really difficult to change that overnight. I think if they've been there, two or three seasons, they're still quite young, you've got a chance to adapt them a lot quicker. But what i found is boys that are a wee bit older, you're looking for that experience. Christian being a great example. He struggled a little bit last year with the training loads, the match day loads, and the, the demands we put on them as a club. Gym sessions, all these types of things, because they're not used to doing that at League Two. And I had an honest conversation with Chris, got a lot of time for him. I said, look, if you can find something in the summer down the road and it suits you and it suits me, I'll shake your hand, Christian, but if you're going to be at Livingston, I need this off you. This is what I demand of you. And do you know what? Fair play to Chris. Never shut my door, never asked to get away, and came back and genuinely, for the first training session in pre-season, he's been different class. Absolutely. It's like signing a new player. It's like signing a new player, and he's arguably been one of our best players this year, if not the best. I'm delighted for him because he's a fantastic He's a fantastic human being, first and foremost. I've got a lot of time for his character. He's moved his family up here. He's took a huge gamble coming up to Scotland. And it's paying off for him now. And I'm, I'm really happy that it is, because I think we're both hugely benefiting from that. Just finally, I spoke to Nicky a little bit about it there, but it feels like this place is becoming a wee bit of a fortress again. You know, it's three wins out of four here in the league. And 
teams are, are starting to, to fear coming here again and you know we're, we're getting brilliant results well at least Dale can he come in and make, yeah, Derek McInnes and blame the plastic part can he so uh, as a good, Derek will take that one in the chin um, no I think I think we're in a good place collectively we're not going to win every game we've not got any divine right to go out and win every game but what I'm finding this season especially with the continuity we've got in the building we're winning games of football in different ways it's not always the same way. We've had to dig deep and win games of football, maybe for a set piece, a counter attack, open play. We're winning all different types of games of football, and for me, that's hugely, hugely like positive. It's fantastic. So, I think does it all build on the fundamentals of football? Keep a clean sheet. I think it does, and you can see the squad how hard they're working for each other on and off the park.